China's escalating military intimidation of Taiwan shows the self-governed island needs to prepare for a possible military conflict, Taiwan's foreign minister Joseph Wu said in an exclusive interview. His warning came one week after the island reported the largest daily incursion by Chinese military planes into Taiwan's self-declared air defense identification zone. The incursion by 28 Chinese warplanes including fighter jets and bombers did not violate Taiwanese sovereign airspace or international law, but it was seen as show of strength by China's People's Liberation Army. When the Chinese government is saying they would not renounce the use of force, and they conduct military exercises around Taiwan, we would rather believe that it is real. Mr. Wu, who has served as Minister of Foreign Affairs since 2018, was accused by Beijing in May of being a diehard separatist after remarks he made during a news conference that Taiwan would fight to the very last day if attacked by China. Joseph Wu has repeatedly and arrogantly provoked Taiwan independence. We will take all necessary measures to severely punish such Taiwan independence diehards for life in accordance with the law. Taiwan and mainland China have been governed separately since the end of a civil war more than seven decades ago, in which the defeated nationalists fled to Taipei. However, Beijing continues to view Taiwan as an inseparable part of its territory, even though the Chinese Communist Party has never governed the democratic island of around 24 million people.